There are a number of different types of art that an artist can create. Poetry, music, sculpture, painting, literature, and the list goes on and on. However, alongside of that art, parallel to it in fact, there's one thing that every artist makes. Something so important that it can make or break an artist's career. Welcome to I Day Friday. Remember, stand out, subscribe. You are an artist. And if you want to learn more on how to add art and creativity to your life, then subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to ring the bell. By clicking the bell icon underneath of this video, you'll receive notifications when I put out new videos. And if you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends and on your social media. It helps the channel, and it helps me to achieve my goal of helping you to achieve your artistic destiny. With that said, on with the video. Hey there, standouts. Brian J. Hatcher here with this I Day Friday video. So what is that one thing that all artists create alongside of their art? That one thing so important that it can mean the difference between an artist finding satisfaction, fulfillment, and success in their art, or the artist becoming frustrated and perhaps even quitting their art. It's benchmarks. By benchmarks, I mean those arbitrary milestones that an artist creates against which an artist measures their art and their career. How much talent is observable in the work? How much skill and knowledge is observable in the art? And how fast is the artist gaining new skills? How does the art compare to other similar works? How big an audience is this work able to garner? And how much value does that audience put in the work? Any and all of these things can be used as benchmarks. Now, setting good benchmarks is an important part of any artist's career. It allows them not only to evaluate their work, but also to evaluate how quickly they're growing in their art. The problem is, setting good benchmarks can be difficult, especially for the new artist. It's very easy to create results-based benchmarks. It's also very easy to create bad, damaging benchmarks based off of results. It's also very important to create process-based benchmarks. But that can be a problem, especially for new artists. In the beginning, an artist is basically learning about process. So that makes it very difficult to come up with benchmarks based off of process when the artist is just at the beginning stages of learning what that process is or should be. But benchmarks are important, and every artist creates them whether they realize it or not and creating bad ones can be disastrous. I personally know people who used to be artists who, because they crippled themselves with these horrible benchmarks, they grew frustrated and eventually quit doing their art. And because I don't want to see that happen to you, I'm gonna give you three tips on how to create benchmarks that will help you instead of hurt you. Tip one, be willing to climb the mountain one step at a time. Dream big. Don't be afraid to dream big. If you want to have your paintings displayed in a gallery, then work to do that. Now you may say to yourself, but my work's not good enough to be in a gallery. And maybe it's not now, but with time and work, you could improve your skills to a degree that perhaps you could get your work in a gallery. So don't be afraid that you're dreaming too big. Work toward those dreams, but understand it's a journey. Be patient with yourself. No big dream ever happened overnight. If you're persistent and you work hard and you continue to improve your skills, then perhaps one day you will get that gallery show that you've always dreamt of. So while you're using that big dream as your North Star to keep you on track, come up with smaller mini goals, each one a step toward that big dream that you have that'll help keep you on track and will encourage you as you continue to grow in your art. Tip two, get help. Teachers, mentors, friends in the art who are a little farther down the path than you, they can all help you to create benchmarks that are reasonable, that are not gonna sabotage you, but are actually gonna help you get further along towards your dream. They can help you to get your priorities straight, and they can help you focus on what's really important to help you right now at getting better. And tip three, and this one is really important, don't use other artists as benchmarks. Don't look at another artist's career and think that's where your career is supposed to be right now. Don't let jealousy eat you up because an artist has a level of skill that 
you don't have yet, or they've received opportunities that you didn't. Every artist goes along their own path. The path you're going down as an artist is one that you're creating for yourself. This is one of the only games in town where you're allowed to make your own rules. So don't go by somebody else's. Make the rules that put the game in your favor. Oh, and one other thing. Setting benchmarks can be very much like setting goals. Check out my video on New Year's resolutions for more tips. Standouts, once again, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button and share it with your friends. And if you have some suggestions about future videos you'd like to see me do, then please feel free to mention that in the comment section down below. And if you're new to this channel and you like what you see, then you can click the subscribe button right up here. And if you want to check out other of my videos, you can click the playlist box. It's right down here. So until next time, this is Brian J. Hatcher reminding you to keep dreaming with your eyes open.